Hello, I'm Jared Weiss, Medical Oncologist and Vice President of Cancer Grace, and it's my pleasure to be here tonight with Josh uh, Baumel, uh, Dr. Josh Baumel of Hospital of University of Pennsylvania, uh, and Dr. Sid Sheth from the University of North Carolina. Um, we're here tonight to discuss uh, advances in cancer treatment of head and neck cancer uh, from the ASCO 2017 meeting. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very much. The standard treatment of head and neck cancer involves the combination of cisplatin and radiation. This can be done up front as the major way to cure patients, um, as well as after surgery in high-risk patients. And uh, gentlemen, argue if you disagree, but I think there's an international standard for eligible patients of high-dose cisplatin, meaning a high dose of cisplatin given every three weeks for three doses during radiation. So, Sid, are you, are you happy with that standard? Is that working well in your practice? Well, it's efficacious, but one of the issues with cisplatin is that they're, it's terribly toxic. So we see our patients have very bad nausea, vomiting, they experience loss of taste, they have diarrhea, some patients say hair loss. So while it does work, um, it'd be nice to see different agents that are less toxic to their patients so they can tolerate it better. Yeah, in my practice, I've also seen a lot of hearing loss. Um, there's a lot of tinnitus or ringing in the ears um, and a pretty major uh, risk of uh, kidney damage as well. And there are things that can help like fluids and a drug called mannitol um, that makes patients pee a little bit during their treatment, but, but, but helps a bit. But it, it's, I think, one of the nastier drugs that we use. I mean, I think they used to call it cisplatinum before the advent of that's what they used to call it. And so I think that it was before the advent of strong anti-nausea medicines that we have right now, it was a major problem. And patients would be, you know, have major vomiting. And so I think it's still a problem. It's still the, the nastiest drug that I use. Yeah. 